Good morning, people, and welcome back. It's it's Monday. Come on, shake your limbs, get the blood flow going, because we are here back on this channel to give you the latest and greatest regarding Manchester United and looking ahead, what's going on with the squad. How are we looking at? Because Manchester United are not messing around, looking to bolster the squad to finish on strong. Because Premier League, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's the way you finish. And it looks like uh, a lot of things is going to happen. A lot of it players are returning back and we're going to talk about Sandra Martinez. But let's have a look at what the paper talk is saying this morning. Of course, we're going to talk about the Manchester United plotting a move for the 18-year-old Boca Juniors defender as well. In regards to the injuries, we know, we've seen it, that senior Manchester United man sent home for international camp, recurring scans on injury concerns. And that's no other than Harry Maguire. And that's linking into the story what we're going to talk about today as well. But also, you know, Mason Greenwood, uh, Spanish Giants, bulk at Manchester Greenwood, asking price. Mason Greenwood is being priced at 55 million euros. I want to hear from your thoughts and feelings regarding this. But final news of the story, of course, is no other than the Sandra Martinez returns back earlier, preparing for Brentford game this Saturday. That is exciting news, people. But before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Hit that notification button so you never miss a video from us. Let's do this, people, cool and composed, because here we go. Has the Premier League ever been more challenging? I feel welcome. I feel welcome. Uh, this is my home, and I want to achieve success. Okay. How are you all doing? How are you feeling? What are you drinking? Ping back your ears, because I'm having a double espresso. Wake up, people, because there's a lot of things that we're going to discuss about today. Let's start with the centre-back linking the Manchester United are plotting for the 18-year-old Boca Juniors defender, which is Aaron Ansel Minio. It's on Manchester United's radar, according to reports. The Reds are being linked with the several centre-backs because there will be shake-up in the department this summer, with a few of our current defenders likely to move for a not a career, to be honest, right? United are going to be busy this summer looking for centre-backs. I know we've been linked to Todebo. I know we've been linked to another Brazilian fellow countryman of his that plays for Juventus. That's uh, Gleason Bremer. But Ineos Sports Group will want to value for the money, which hasn't always been easy for the club. It's now time to strengthen our reputation by not overpaying. So this is a 17 million on the table. I want to hear your opinion, your action, your feelings, because moreover than that, I don't know much about this player. He's 17 years old, and these are rumors to say that Manchester United will buy him and potentially loan him up for development. This is a total different approach what Manchester United is doing. Furthermore, if we go back to the to the business, what's going on here? Harry Maguire has been sent home during a scan um, for some minor injury com concerns, what according to the papers are saying here. We can look at this story today as well. Harry Maguire has been departed from the England camp premature due uh, to a, apparently an injury concerns. Well, in a way, if you're a Manchester United fan, that is music to my ears, right? Maguire did an appearance. It didn't do bad at all. But also, if you look around what's going on regarding Manchester United players that's been around uh, international duties. Bruno Fernandes played one game with Portugal with a 5-1 five five victory over Sweden. Got sent home early. I think that is a club instruction. But also, also what's going on with Lissandra Martinez, which is the crescendo of the story. Um, barring that United are taking this series, we have 10 run of fixtures now to finish strong in top four. We need every single fit player that could possibly have, you know. And Manchester United seems to have a full fit squad to finish this marathon. As deluded before, Premier League, it's not a sprint. Yeah, you can start strong. But it's how you finish. If you don't have energy or legs to complete the final mile sprint, you pretty much will crumble and fall. But Manchester United, for some miraculous reasons with all these injuries, has been staying in touch with the top four, currently sitting on sixth. And it's about to finish strong. So 
kudos for that in a way. Kudos for that in a way. In the next story, what I want to talk about is 100% Lissandra Martinez, right? This is the main story of today. Why Lissandra Martinez was sent out to Argentina, uh, a lot of United fans was questioning when he was injured, right? But he returns from an international break to prepare for the Brentford clash. And that is, according to my opinion, music to most of our ears because Lissandra Martinez is the most valuable defender that we have in the squad. We missed him so much and we saw how much it meant for United when he came back and played those three games coming up before he kind of got a little bit of injury with a knee strain, but it was just a little bit of a blow to his knee, nothing more extensive. But, you know, here's the story. According to the reports here, Manchester United defender Lissandra Martinez has returned early from international duty. Oh, my God. That deserves fireworks, according to my opinion. <laughs> yeah, well, the centre-back was a surprise addition to Leon Scanoli's Argentina squad to the March international break after missing the last six weeks of action with United, according to the reports, after sustaining another knee injury whilst facing West Ham this February. We remember it. But a decision was made for Martinez to link up with his international teammates. That was a decision made by Martinez, but he did not feature in his squad. He just basically went there for the camaraderie to sort of boost up his fitness because in his mind, his return and priority will always be Manchester United. So he, instead of playing the 26-year-old, linked up, trained with his companions to gain fitness ahead and it is very highly likely that he will feature against Brentford this weekend. Let me know your thoughts and feelings because I think this is massive. Very, very massive. And I salute this, to be honest, because we missed him so, so, so much. Let me know what you think. This is positive news, according to my opinion as well. Lissandra Martin is back means balance. Lissandra Martin is back with Rafael Varane, with Aaron Van Bissaka and Diego Deloy. That is a full strength, you know, back four, to be honest, right? And Kobe Maynard has been doing bits and being receiving a lot of praise for his debut at in England Internationals. He's going to be back. Bruno Fernandes traveled home early as well, as deluded before. Played one game against Sweden went home, back to Carrington to train to prepare for the Brentford game. So Manchester United looks like they're handling this situation very swift. They're very serious of finishing top four, and I salute that as well. On the other hand, let's look what the other paper talks are saying. What's going on with Mason Greenwood? Well, let me have a look. Let's have a look at this story. Spanish giant, according to the report, are looking at Mason Greenwood, right? That is... According to this paper talk, uh, let me see. According to the Mundo Deportivo, Atletico Madrid has been expressing an interest to sign Greenwood in the summer. The Spanish publication claims that Atletico have been taken aback with United's asking price set at 58 million euros. That is 50 million pounds, which is seen to be an outrageous to the club showing an interest. Why is an outrage? Why are they crying for a 58 million euro price tag on probably one of the best, you know, wingers you can ever have in the league at the moment? Of course, we as Manchester United fan, we are the owners of this talent. We've been selling our kids for peanuts. And this is United showing the upper hand to say, you want them, you pay up 50 million pounds or 58 million euros. But also there's other clubs interested in Greenwood, according to some reports. He's also been gaining interest in from Juventus and potential swap deal with Gleason Bremer, the center back. But swap deals are so difficult to make, barring with the FFP rules and regulations. So I rather see Mason Greenwood either giving the fair crack of the whip, return back to the summer, assess him in the preseason, make a decision, or sell him. But 58 million euro, according to my opinion, is a very good price tag for Mason Greenwood. Guys, let me know your thoughts and feelings at the end of the day. You know, Manchester United are coming back, playing Brentford this weekend. And this is more positive. Like, this is more positive reinforcement. There's been nothing much to report in the media. There's been international breaks. And God, we hate international breaks. But in regarding the news of Manchester United, Lissandra Martin is coming back, preparing 
Now you understand why he went away to Argentina to gain fitness, to train with his camaraderies, to have warm weather training. And Ganacho was cooking over there as well. So yeah, that is massive, massive for United. Harry Maguire taking himself out of the squad, just being a little bit precaution because he knows how important he's going to be for the remaining of nine games to play or 10 games to play in the Premier League, plus the FA Cup as well. Same with Bruno Fernandes, played one game for Portugal, a little bit of a camaraderie, a little bit of warm weather training and going back to Carrington to prepare for the Saturday's clash. Guys, this has been a snappy update. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions at the end of the day. You know, this is paper talks and I do love a little bit of a positive story at the end of the day. Like, you know, if you haven't uh, liked and subscribed yet, you know, please do so. Um, we are on the road for 22,000 subscribers. So please make sure you hit that notification button as well. So you never miss a video and hit that like button, please. If you're looking at this in retrospect, like buttons, like button, like buttons. If we can get over 100 likes, I'll be more than grateful and gratitude. And thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I wish you a lovely continuous on Monday. We should see you later on with the live stream with myself and the Lol Yogi. And we're going to talk about which position Manchester United is going to strengthen in the summer. There will not be any Jarvis Cocker's Corner today due to some implications for Jarvis. It's a little bit busy. But tune in 5 p.m. UK time for a live stream of the day. This has been Mick Ruby from MEFC Real Estate TV. I had my say, and hopefully I made you a little bit better day. Cheers. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching MUFC Realist TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on the socials.